How's everybody today? All right, we got this 07 Matrix. I'm doing a little a few things for it for safety. Getting this exhaust on. Exhaust is a thousand something dollars for all the pieces, so I'm making it custom. So as you can see, I lost my resonator in the highway, which caps off the last piece of the system. So I collected my pieces. We're about to weld them together. The only hard piece is over there with a gas tank. You gotta do a couple special bends. Now I'm not a pipe bender, so we're just gonna cut it and weld it. So here, let's get it. All right, first step, just gonna weld some of these couplers on here. It's a two inch exhaust, so these nice two and a quarter couplers are real nice. If that helps you any, two and a quarter inner diameter to two inch inner diameter. Just wanna weld those on the ends of the resonator. Then we're gonna weld that to this length of pipe I got here. Nice score. Uh, 75 bucks for that length of pipe, five and a half feet. Pretty good deal. And I'll be able to make whatever I need out of it. And uh, yeah, after that, we're just gonna mock it up, see how it fits, figure out where cuts and bends are gonna be, and then make the special cuts. I'll show you how to do that. And then uh, we're on to joining the pipe. So I make it sound so easy, but it is quite a piss off. So stick around, you're gonna find out how that goes. A few supplies might be useful to you two and a quarter inch exhaust clamps and those two and a quarter inner diameter by two inch inner diameter couplers I had mentioned earlier. A little bit of muffler cement helps when you join them together. I'm gonna make this come apart in two pieces in case I gotta replace a piece later on down the road. I'm gonna try to do it without flanges and just use uh, couplers so we'll see how it goes. Um, obviously same goes for grinder, hearing protection, eye protection. Can't stress my eye protection enough. Like I always got two pairs in a backup. Um, just a couple days ago, I had a hot piece of metal fly, and it went right in the bridge of my nose, burned my nose. But haven't I had those glasses on? I probably would have lost my eye. So always wear your safety gear. Nice little tip for you. All right, back underneath here. As you can see, I got that fits very nicely on there. That's where there'll be a clamping point. That's uh, the cats up in there. That was replaced recently, believe it or not. I mean, that's just what this rust belt does to everything. It destroys everything. Anyway, we're gonna go, yeah, I know. This is another example, another surprise today that I gotta fix, so we'll show you that, how to fix that rust repair. But not today, that's this muffler situation. So we're gonna measure from this resonator right into this pocket here and see what that is and then we're going to go up and over that axle that's going to be the trickiest part there if you can see that so stick around for my pain and misery <laughs> oh, i hate exhaust all right i got that all welded together i got this measured so it's going to be about four and a half inch from here then the bend starts Basically, you want to measure two lines, try to find your metals close you can, and then just make a couple lines around it, like a half moon to the other side. That's the side you got to bend on, so make a series of small cuts and start your bend. So, straight cut here, and then a couple bends here to close the gap. Now, I didn't really measure anything, I always just uh, do it a couple slices at a time. And uh, I recommend some nice thin, thin, thin blades to take off less material and then you can make adjustments later. So let's go ahead and make a rough bend, see if we can get in the neighborhood and then uh, we're on to the next step. If you get a mark, cut it out just a little bit past uh, the middle there, all the way around roughly the other side. You can mark the other side if you want, but I didn't bother with that. Anyway, you want to go with that, little gap to start. Not bad, should be able to bend that quite a bit. And then if it's not enough, we'll adjust it. So I'm just gonna bend it by hand. I mean, I'd like to show you guys how I'm doing all of this up close and personal, but I mean, part of it's your own struggle and what you come up with. I love the engineering that a backyard comes up with. So let me know in the comments anything crazy you've done like this. Here, once you get your bend in it, should join that somewhat. Pretty good. I mean, you can always adjust up here and cut it a little more if you need more of a bend or less or whatever you need, but there it is. Pretty nice 
nice curve too actually there's how it goes just like that so we're gonna fit it and see how much more of a bend we need there all right after much bending and cursing we finally got it now there it is it's gonna sit up like that look how nice that is oh yeah and we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do to the back there we're gonna have to curve it and make it go upwards to meet the other pipe from the muffler and that's gonna be the funnest part so I have a couple of ideas of what I'm gonna do there so I'll see how that goes and we're at the back here so you get a better view that lifted up it's gonna go just like that clears that gas tank nice nice and clean and then Zoom out of here. That's where the hangers are for the exhaust, for the muffler, and then that's where that pipe comes out. So she's got to go upwards and out, and that's where I'm gonna have fun. I might put a flange, I might not. We'll see how it goes. Had a minor uh, grinder mishap. Yeah, you know how that goes. But uh, I'm still here, and uh, I'm not leaking any uh, red slushy or nothing, so I think I'm all right. Anyways, we're going to pull this in here. It makes a nice angle just like that to be welded. Everything's clean and ready. I got a nice one here. There's how it looks from the resonator back. Pretty awesome, right? And that's with only couplers off of this. Those are homemade bends and angles. So about to get this one done up. I have to add a little piece of this and then I gotta cut and dress this one up and get that ready and then I'm ready to fit a couple more pipes and I'm hoping I can finish this today. And there it is done and welded up. It's a nice bend there. Looks good up there at the adapter, ready to go. Nice little curve, look at that. Looks factory. I think this piece here is like 300 bucks or something ridiculous or or more, including the resonator. These pipe guys are scam artists, but look at that. Real nice. Nice little angle there. Should receive in the other one good. I got an old Magnaflow muffler to put back on here. And I'm hoping with my leftover pipe I'll be able to finish the bends that I need. So on to the last step. Now we're starting to get somewhere. There's the pipe. We build it in a couple sections. I think that looks pretty good from the back. Giggity. I'm gonna weld that there, close those gaps. And there's where the clamping point's gonna be. It's pretty close, as you can see. I like it better than flanges down there. That stupid design. And uh, I'm gonna throw Nice little hanger there. Nice little hanger there. Wrap around to our nice flow master. Sounds pretty good on this old girl. It's not too loud. Of course, I gotta weld it there. So we're gonna give her a couple tacks and pull everything down, weld it and paint it. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna install everything. And I say tomorrow, it's because starting to get late and it's a sunday night you gotta chill a little bit so if you like what you're seeing here please uh like and subscribe and uh don't forget to mend it and send it and there you have it through a little paint that's a high heat engine paint i just had laying around a little extra so i figured i'd hit everything with an extra coat of protection might not do anything it's gonna rust the same anyway but figured why not give it a try Gonna put this on, finish it, and no more loud ass car. I can't wait for that. I think they turned out pretty good, especially the upward bends. And that's without actually cutting it and making new pieces. And I didn't bother cleaning out my welds. So who even cares? It's under the car. So that's what it is. All right, everyone. The fruits of my labor have paid off. I'm going to show everybody. So starting right here, look at your gap. Make sure that's good on your rear bumper. 
That looks good. That's a factory TRD pipe, if you can believe it. Limited edition. Everyone's like, oh, why'd you put that on there? This is how it came, right? Original from the factory in 07. So we got my MagnaFlow, or sorry, Flowmaster. You got a couple couplers. I think it's just one, actually. I think that just goes into the three inch. And then we got a nice little hanger I got made for that part. Then a where it clamps and goes together to the other pipe. Get in a little closer. Oh yeah, look how nice that is. If I bring this up here, it doesn't stick down far at all. It seems high or low there because this axle isn't loaded. Once that's loaded, it'll be perfect. This is a good gap at the gas tank. So just when you're doing this, make sure you got your gaps correct and nothing's touching. Think about that. Think about bumps. See, there's nothing touching there. See, strong and solid, not going anywhere. It's got two hangers there, one over there, two in the front. You can see that. I think that looks great. Look at that's a nice angle I did there, measuring in and then started my bend, welded them all up. So, you do not need a bender to make some nice little uh, bends. Now, Obviously, they're not super pretty. They didn't grind my welds, but they ain't gonna leak. I ain't worried about it. And that just saved me near eight, nine hundred bucks. And all I spent on this whole repair is about 120 bucks for some couplers, five and a half uh, feet of two inch pipe or two and a quarter, I think it is, and a couple uh, two and a quarter clamps. And we got it painted, so let's see what it sounds like. I'll start it up for everybody and That'll be it. And there it is with the everything installed, the suspension loaded. Actually looks really good. I'm pretty happy with it. That bend actually sticks up closer than it did before. And it doesn't stick down far at all here. I got nice clearance there. It looks great. So I'm about to fire it up for you guys and that'll be it. If you like this content, please make sure you like and subscribe, and please don't forget to mend it and send it.